Hello everyone, in this video we're going to implement a video moderation application using Vonage Video API and AWS Recognition. The application will moderate the video published by both camera and screen sharing for each of the publishers into the session. If the application detects inappropriate content, it will mute the video from the publisher and send a notification to all the other subscribers of the session. This is very useful, especially in the education and events use cases where you want to be able to moderate the content published by a teacher or by a presenter. It can also be possible to save data during the call and run a post-call analysis on the detection performances of the call. If you want to see a demo of the application, you can skip to the end of the video. You can find the precise time step in the video description. I will now explain the application architecture and code. Let's get started by going through the readme file of the GitHub repo, which is available online. The name is Video API AWS Moderation. And we can see that the application has the following features. Detecting appropriate content published from the camera, published from the screen share of the device, suppress offensive content when detected and notify the participant of the call when inappropriate content is detected. Let's see the architecture now. So the client side is a, client, a React application published into an AWS CloudFront distribution, which is backed by uh, an AWS S3. Then we have two different functions, which are a Lambda function. One is to get the credentials for the session, so API key, session ID, and token, to be able to connect, publish, and subscribe into a Vonage Video API session. And the other API is a um, Lambda function as well, calling, receiving uh, an image from the video or screen sharing of the client, setting the image to the AWS recognition service, and getting back the result to the client. Um, as we can see, the, the backend is deployed using the serverless framework. So we can deploy from the CLI or the serverless framework. And the functions are under the uh, source functions folder. We do have the two main functions are room.js and moderation.js. And as we just said, room.js create the rooms if it doesn't exist. Otherwise, it does get back the session ID and token. And the moderation.js receives the base64 image from the client, sends the image to the AWS recognition service, and send back the result to the client. So let's let's analyze the code of the of the backend. If we go on the uh, source functions API, is where the uh, two functions are developed. The first one is room.js. Very simple. You receive the request from the client. If the room name exists. It will call the handle room creation, which will take care to either create a session or get back just the um, credentials, which are again API key, session ID, and token. And yeah, it's a very simple uh, function which creates the room and sends back the credentials. The interesting function is the moderation one. The moderation function will receive the uh, base64 image from the client. And from there, it's going to call the detect moderation labels function, which is basically the uh, recognition function called detect moderation labels. And if the image contains any inappropriate content, we're going to send back the array with the results to the client. And we're going to show the, um, we're going to show a notification to the client saying your camera or your screen sharing has been muted because you are showing inappropriate content. And the same thing to all the other subscribers into the session, we're gonna show camera of user X has been disabled because you're showing inappropriate content. Okay, so now that we've seen the server side, let's focus for a second on the client side, which is a React application with different components for the video call itself, like uh, mute button, change settings, screen share, and this kind of stuff, typical of a video room, let's say. But the important pieces are the moderation component and the use um, the custom hook called use moderation hook which is this file that we're gonna see here and what I'm doing on the use moderation hook on react is that for I'm using like an interval to send every uh, second in this case but it's completely configurable um, an image from the current 
publisher, which could be again a, a camera or a screen share. And based on the result, I'm setting like the snack bar, which is basically um, it's an advice to the current client showing your video has been disabled because we detected inappropriate content. I'm doing that for the local publishers, so the ones that is actually showing the inappropriate content, but also I'm sending a signal again using uh, session.signal and sending a signal to all the other subscribers into the session. I'm going to show an info message saying the video of user X has been disabled because it was showing inappropriate content. Then for uh, this demo, I decided to mute the camera for 10 seconds, which again is uh, like this value here. And after 10 seconds, I'm going to enable the camera again. But this depends, of course, on the logic of, of, of your application. Okay, so now that we've seen uh, server side and client side, let's actually see a demo of the application. Okay, this is the application. And as you can see, we have like the video bottom bar with mute and mute, mute camera, unmute camera, screen sharing and settings as well. So here we have the moderation, which is um, start with disabled and then we can enable it. So let me enable the um, moderation. And now my my camera is is actually sending every second a frame to the AWS recognition service. So now I'm going to kind of trigger the inappropriate content showing uh, a middle finger. So if you if you get offended, please stop watching the video uh, because it's the only way to actually trigger the inappropriate content. So I'm going to do it right now. Three, two, one. And as you can see, it should mute the yeah. And as you can see, it's like we have detected Rudy gesture with middle finger with confidence 97.86%. And all the other users in the session will have received the same message on their side as well. We can do the same demo by sharing a screen and see if the text like I will do a, um, a Google search searching for beer bottles, for example. And the idea here is that the API will detect that I'm showing um, alcoholic content and it should mute my camera. Let's 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 yeah, zoom maybe into one of the beers. So in this case, I'm selecting this one. Okay, as you can see, is the alcohol has been detected, alcoholic beverage with confidence 81%. So as you can see, uh, the detection works both on the screen sharing and the webcam. Okay, I hope the demo was useful and fun. And let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks for watching.